Yes, uh, I am on Jiggling, as someone in chat mentioned. So Jiggling, uh, Jiggling was the team formerly known as I Need This or Int from the NA Regional Cup. This is our first time back under the new name and with uh, some new members. So we are incredibly excited to, uh, to be here for our first uh, tournament and are really hoping to, to leave an impression, you know, make a name and jiggle our way into your hearts. Oh God, am I gonna be, I'm casting, I'm casting with the bias, let's go. All right, we are facing off on our other team with Ain't No Way. Now, Ain't No Way is one of the newer teams to come up onto the scene. Pretty much most of this team itself, uh, we've got Ren and Yahaha, uh, Merlin, Emrys, Abba, Falafel, Vestel, Sawyer, Celeste, Archon, and Neodymium. Now, a lot of these, pretty much all of these players are all Aether Top 100s, oh, most of them are Aether Top 30s. And while most of these teams, or a lot of these players have not been on LP specifically, they are coming together to try to see what they can do. A lot of this damage, try and to get this together in order to get prepared for CCRC. It's gonna be interesting to see how much solo queue experience can or can't translate to LP experience. See whether or not these uh, these like really, really dominant solo queue uh, players can come together as a team inside of a more coordinated environment, which is, you know, every 60 seconds, Black Mage has one of the fastest charging limit breaks in the game. And, you know, Black Mage is in the limit break for pretty, if they're going Ed, good, they're in the Ed, you had time to fix your portrait. What is this? Oh, no. <sighs> I'm going to go hop into the team Discord real quick. I'll be right back. I do love uh, Sansa's weapon being the kettle, uh, Zeta kettle. Uh, props to farming that one. Um, <laughs> and also just one of the best models in this game. Uh, for what weapons. weapon but, is that from? Uh, that is uh, after you finish one of the Realm Reborn uh, Relic Weapons completely, you can unlock a quest chain to build that too. Uh, oh but uh, anyway, speaking uh, to your question about uh, Black Mage, yes, uh, Rydian, uh and Black Mages uh, don't have that instant, you know, Warm Wind Thrust level 20k blast to the face. But what they do have, as you mentioned, is that incredible crowd control. And one of the things about LP... Uh, play is getting enemies to burn purifies uh, because once someone doesn't have purify you can be cc chained to death and just have nothing to do uh in terms of retaliation so that might be what the goal is here we'll see yeah it looks like and they are on the dragoon forget what i said about instant target burst they immediately get that dragoon almost instantly just to prove me wrong next target is on to sansa sansa is able to get out gets that real birth off edwi is currently the target going down to half health currently polymorph can they get the kill onto this edwi is able to get out that uh -oh. white mage is possibly going to be okay meanwhile uh the meanwhile team umbra's dragoon is respawning but just in time they managed to get that trade onto the enemy onto the enemy ninja health bars are going down but with a numbers advantage it's going to be uh interesting to see whether or not they can go and get anything out of this team astra decisively takes control of the game. yep it looks like uh jiglin is running down the white mage right now who does have lb does make sense to try to take them out of play before the next team fight it'll be a huge advantage we also have turbulence coming in 10 seconds we'll see what both teams do to position for this uh, there are feathers that uh, increase a uh, person's LB uh, economy by 30 seconds. So typically people try to, you know, get those, speed up the LB economy, especially because at this level, LP, everything uh, is typically about LBs uh, and having that advantage that they can they can give you. But uh, it looks like it went to Sarah Thel, who is the bard whose LB helps increase everyone else's LB and gives a damage bonus. So coming into this fight, we see a it's... White Mage LB and a Monk LB. A Monk LB from Zeltra going out. They are not going to let the Monk get theirs off. It's Meteo versus Meteo, and the first Meteo wins. Zeltra immediately gets Ninja that rip off. Ninja LB win. While Ninja LB uh, is off onto Zeltra, doesn't connect, and it looks like it's going to time out. That's a huge limit break and huge way to try to get back into the fight. Suddenly uh, no longer an option, and Team Umbra is forced to... Uh, forced to take their potions with a numbers disadvantage and the checkpoint so close to the end here they're running out of time to actually get in they're not going to be able to actually regroup one mm -hmm. member uh team uh, merlin's currently guarding on the point with another member uh, ready to go in afterwards sansa's also guarding with limit breaks up are they going to be able to get that initial pick especially against Ooh, this much crowd this much damage huge uh it's called in zebra 
Uh, Zeltra using uh, Enlightenment to knock the only remaining member who was on the point off and get that last five feet. Like, Samurai has one of the larger amounts of health pools, especially inside of uh, CC. Uh, and they've got the Cheetan, which, you know, not And only they does fixed it. their portraits. Let's go. Portraits in sync. That's the most important thing. That is, it is. The Definitely sky portraits get that are still very good too. God, they're all looking at me. I love those it's kettles. so cute. Gotta Except no substitutes for Dipingus. That's right, chat. That's right. Uh, yes, so to what you were saying, the Samurai uh, is definitely more of a bruiser class than uh, other people might be used to, but it looks like there are two Samurais uh, in this match now, so that'll be very interesting. And also, uh, that Samurai LB, if you touch it while they have Chi-10 up, if you're unfamiliar, if you touch it while, you have, while they have Chi-10 up, they put a debuff on you, and if they use their LB on you while that debuff is there, it's an instant kill or at least a hundred percent of your health shields can actually save you from it but that being said it's incredibly nasty because once that samurai gets that full lb you basically only want to touch them very carefully when you're absolutely sure that they've used chi 10 and you're not in that window because otherwise things can go very badly but here we go opening engagement looks like edwin is the kill target uh on jiggling and he does go down will the monk for team ain't away go down because that looks like jiggling is on Lelouch is actually retreating on the tatami mats. We might see some flipping here. Uh, and it looks like Sansa goes down. It is now equal for four. And it looks like Jiglin, Jiglin is swapping to the Bard on... Uh, ain't no way. Sorry, I keep having to double check the name. Down goes the Bard. Zeltra Ember's in trouble, though. It looks like they have no mana. They're holding guard. Uh, they might be able to slink away, but uh, they are very low. They get the ground pot. They're going to live. Uh, and it looks like Jiglin is trying to get back to the point to start making some progress after having their Scholar hold it with the Samurai on... Uh, oh, sorry, that was a surprising pick. Uh, down goes the Samurai. Uh, I was about to call the Ninja. Uh, it's just and it... an absolute brawl right now. Yeah. Fights, micro skirmishes all over the map, definitely really difficult to keep track of, and Team Astra finally able to get control of the point and move it into the midpoint with their LBs coming up. It's going to be interesting in an uphill battle for Team Umbra to come in and try to get that advantage, especially, but they've got that White Mage laser going in and they've almost got the Ninja LB, they've almost got that Monk LB. They're, we're looking at a 5v5. We're looking at, oh, we're, it's going. There we go. Out goes the lasers, out goes Monk LB from Zeltra. Pick on Zeltra, but down goes the White Mage. Out goes the Ninja LB. Will the Ninja go down next? They have no mana. I don't know about their guard status. I think they still have it. Uh, and we are looking at map gaze mechanic. Will anyone fall for it? No, no one will. Uh, we do see the Bard on Jiglin has LB coming up, and it looks like Jiglin is fighting back in the corner now. He's beating Sansa up, who has no mana. They might be going for the pick there. And uh, Lelouch Masamune from Jiglin holding the point down. He is a very wise man, uh, as we call people who just push the crystal. Uh, just absolutely explosive fight. Huge numbers of LBs used, but Doom Balloon to Pingus hasn't been forced to use theirs. Looks like they've got, they've got the stove up. Cheetan's up. Are they going to rip it? Nobody touches the stove. Looks like it's going to be down for at least another 30 seconds, but they get those immediate picks onto the enemy Samurai, onto the enemy Monk. Monk is respawning, but it looks like Samurai is going to be down. They're not going to have Cheetan for at least a little bit. They can, can they get these picks? They get a pick onto the Bard. Further target is the White Mage. Can they get a pick onto that? Goes nice. down before they get that LB up. Still has the raw meat, uh, still has uh, Samurai LB in order to be able to rip it uh, as an uh, insurance plan. They've had a numbers advantage for almost this entire last 15 seconds. Neodymium forced to be on the point alone despite having LB and not no way to rip it. Looks like, are they going to be able to get up? Will they be able to barely? escape? No. They are not. And uh, Doom Balloon, let's rip the, uh, the Samurai LB. It looks like uh, the other Samurai touched their stove and that will be round two. God, a really, really hectic fight on both teams, but definitely well played on the behalf of uh, Team Jiglin. 13 to 2 on the kill board. It's, it's, it's definitely interesting to see how much... Uh, well, like, one of the interesting things about this game, especially on Clock Town, is that it really, really makes it easy to have micro skirmishes all around the point with, while also right. kind of ignoring the point. There's one person that's been on that point that entire game in Solalouche. That uh, summoner was, or sorry, that scholar, scholar, that scholar was there on point almost the entire game, laser focused on that objective and making sure that even if 
these particular skirmishes are happening, even if they might even be down numbers or down mana or have to regroup, have to get that potion off, they're still getting checkpoint progress. They're still gaining a map advantage. Huge plays on the size of uh, Team Jiglin.